The doors are the last thing on our list to prep for paint. We have to prep the inside, the interior, and the exterior. There's so much to do. And I got my hair done. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to Ellie's Garage where my dad and I are starting a 1965 Ford Falcon to become my daily driver. So yes, new hair and we're doing doors. So there's a lot to do, but we are starting with the interior of the door to get that prepped and ready for the rest of it. All right, let's stay up. Oops. Okay, listen. A little bit of stuff in there. But yeah, our first goal is going to be to get Clean everything out. cleaned out yeah. and sealed in there but what we don't want to block up check this out move i can't get the thing oh. ew, ew, ew. these doors are meant to, for water to get in them yes and then they come out the little, little yeah, bottom holes yeah those are the drains they want in there okay, are you ready oh, no, 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 no. put on gloves oh come on No. Okay, so basically at this angle it's, it's <laughs> so basically at this angle it's really nice to see all the flaking off parts of like sealant stuff in there. Yeah. You can really see the, all the surface rust that's underneath there at this angle, which is really important because we want to sand all that down before it rust encapsulate. get down to here like here it's rusty but under here that looks actually pretty good yeah. okay so when we get it up like this we can really see all of the rust inside and all of the rust on the outside so we basically need to sand everything down but we're gonna focus on the inside right now Now that we have the inside sanded, we have to clean it out, which we're going to use some pre. Then we are going to encapsulate it with our internal frame coating. Then we move to the outside, which on the outside, if we have any rust areas, we'll sand those down and it rust encapsulate them. And then after that, we'll give it a good scuff and then everything will be um, sprayed with an epoxy. <laughs> <laughs> then everything will be sprayed with epoxy primer and then we'll be good for the door. But first we need to get the inside cleaned out. Wait, I decided I don't want to listen to music. We're gonna watch a movie, but you have to guess what movie. Very well. Pixar. Yeah. Like, different. Wally! Yeah! It's <laughs> uh, pretty obvious. That's a good one. You're okay. Good. Oh no, yeah, you got it.
we have it mostly or pretty much all sanded down. Yeah. Um, and you can see that there's some areas that still have rust on them that we didn't completely get the rust off. So we're just going to tack rag and rust encapsulate real quick and then we'll move on. Yeah, sometimes it's hard to put it down. Can I see? No, not yet. One solid? Yeah. There you go. Good. Yeah. Let's have a good passage. Yeah. I'm just trying to get it. Feel free to take it up to the edge, yeah. Yeah, I'm just trying to get it like slightly coated. Yeah, because it doesn't need to be a lot. Yeah. Good. I'll move it. We got the inside of the door and the outside back of the door uh -huh. done. Um, and now we are moving on to the skin or the panel of the door, which we have in only the epoxy from the very first time that we ever painted epoxy, which was, a while ago. was like a year ago. So we have that on and guide coated, but we don't have it sanded at all. So we are starting way back at the beginning with 180. Yep, yep. Oh, Let's gracious. block it 180. Put it on. Right here and low over here. Yeah, so. Like right here, it feels low. Yeah, it's definitely. So yeah, so but I mean, yeah, you can see it. So we need to we need to do a filler here, here, here. You We're gonna need a lot of filler. Okay, so we are done sanding, but this door is pretty messed up when it comes to um, the bumps and stuff. So we're gonna have to do a lot of filling. Um, so that's what we're gonna do now. <laughs> Thank you. Now take that off of there. All is real fast. You don't have to run it into the distort. Ready? Mm -hmm. 
sprayed, and now we are going to wait 30 minutes and then come and roll the urethane. One door down, three more to go. With the urethane finally put on the doors, that is the end of priming Carl. It's been a long road, but I'm glad it's done. So that means that we still have to sand Carl quite a few times before we can actually paint, but we no longer have to roll on primer, which means that we are a lot closer to painting Carl than I feel like we should be. <laughs> so when I'm taking out of the garage is sometimes it's nice to take one step forward and no steps back. Check out this video from not too long ago where we were spray painting the dashboard. Thanks to Eastwood for providing all of the primer and paint for this episode. And thank you as always to my executive producers, Drew Carter and Kevin and Julia. Thanks for watching, consider subscribing and I'll see you next time in the garage.